is front row center. And our host for this segment, I'm Mrs. T. And I'm involved with a wonderful production of Avenue Q at Musical Fair. And I... Uh, all right, that's enough. That, that's, that's quite enough. <laughs> You'll be in the show, but I won't be in the show. Uh, but we are talking about Avenue Q, <laughs> the smash hit Broadway show uh, that is essentially Sesame Street for grown-ups. And uh, with me on the program, Amy Jekyll, again for the second uh, part of our show, joined by Adam Krettinger, the uh, designer of these fantastic puppets for Avenue Q. Welcome to the program, Adam. Thanks for uh, having me. Amy, uh, talk to us about Avenue Q. What, 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 what do people, uh, what can people expect in this wonderful? Oh boy, <laughs> a lot of fun, a lot of surprises, and of course a lot of puppets, which as you can see by the ones that are here with us tonight, um, Adam has just done wonderful and will continue to do brilliant work on. It's um, very upbeat show, very funny, um, definitely a comedy. I actually, I just picked up my script yesterday and read through, so having seen the production um, when it came through Shays, when the tour came through, it's very fun, it's very exciting. It's definitely only for people of a certain age. <laughs> yes, in fact, her, 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 her name we can't even say on the air. No, it's just, it's Mrs. T, and you'll have to come see the show to find out what they really right. call her, right? We'd better not that say. That's getting pertinent with me, but... I'm not in the show. Don't worry. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> so, Adam, uh, talk about uh, how you constructed these puppets. Um, I, I built them all completely from scratch. I ordered for, for that one thing. I even have to dye the fabric, the the purple skin. It wow. all it all comes in white. The clothes I make and everything. I just completely design it from scratch. And the puppet you're holding is what character? His name is Trekkie Monster. Yeah, and he's uh, and uh, he has a very specific use for the net, pretty pretty narrow, which you'll exactly. find yeah. out in the show. Exactly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, where? Uh, what was the inspiration for some of these puppets? Did you did you use the original production? <clears throat> did you have some ideas of your own? Uh, no, we we have our own designs for this. We did not use the Broadway designs, and I have I'll show you a little bit of the original sketches. Uh -huh. This was the original sketch for uh, for Trekkie. And it's uh, it, uh, developed a little different uh, from the original. A little mm -hmm. bit of colors, like the horns, are a little different. And I decided not to end up giving them a nose because it just became too many features uh, on the face. So I found it was better without it. Mm -hmm. And uh, for Mrs. Thistletwat, I was actually inspired by my great grandmother, so <laughs> who is no longer with us anymore. Oh. But uh, but this this was her originally. And then I did a little sketch, uh, like a caricature kind of puppet version. Uh huh. Oh boy. And oh, you can see the how, resemblance. You can see her. <laughs> look you know. at that skull. Yeah, she was, she was a very wonderful woman, but yeah, she had d definitely looked to her. And we always remembered that square hair that she had. So that's, that's how I had the inspiration for Mrs. This, Mrs. T. Mrs. T. Mrs. T. Mrs. T. Yeah. And so, Amy, who, who else is joining you in this uh, a merry band of characters? <laughs> oh, boy. A whole bunch of exciting people. Um, Doug Wyand is directing and choreographing. He's going to have uh, his hands full. He <laughs> is, with the puppets and the people. <laughs> and um, Jason Bravo will be music directing. Um, the cast is myself and Maria Droz, um, Adrian Lewis, Jake Albrella. Charmaine, um, Charmaine isn't it? Chi, uh, she yes. did a fantastic. If you saw her in uh, 42nd Forty Second Street, Street mm -hmm. Anytime Annie, she's going to join the cast. Jeff Coyle, Adrian um, Lewis, mm -hmm. and you forget Mark Sacco. Mark Sacco, the one absolutely. And only. Yep. So and, we've got all uh, sorts of excitement to. So not only look do you have to learn to. there are, there are real characters in the play, and then there are puppet characters in yes, the play. Yes, there are. So you have double duty. Everyone actually operates a puppet, at least part in, of a you know, puppet. an arm or, or the mouth of one at some point throughout the show, yeah. So um, luckily we've got Adams agreed to come around and introduce us to all our new furry friends and help us, you know, operate the so puppets what, and go all through that. But what are some of the keys to help making a puppet come to life? Um, you know, you just gotta try to keep them alive all the time. You know, they breathe and ah. uh, the eye focus, making sure they're actually looking at who they're talking to and trying to get the lip syncing down. They're all very important, bringing the character to life. 
and you're singing and you're dancing and you're right. putting the and whole thing together. And playing multiple characters too. I mean, most people, if not everyone, plays more than one character. I, like I said, I just picked up my script and skimmed through and didn't really realize how many arguments and conversations I could have with myself. <laughs> <laughs> so that'll be That's interesting. Be and fun. just switching, being very comfortable, and you have to be very strong in your character's voices. There's not, I'm not going to play anyone in Avenue Q that sounds or speaks the way that that I do, and just as you would with a with a dialect or an accent, it's you have very specific character voices, and to differentiate and between two, right? Yeah. It's gonna be it's, it's gonna it's be gonna fun. It's gonna be a challenge. <laughs> and so the whole the whole thing takes place in sort of a pseudo Sesame Street neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And uh, what what's what is the essential plot? Um, you could say there. Well, is it focuses the... on I'd say your main character is a, a puppet named Princeton mm -hmm. who's just recently graduated with a BA in English. And is basically wondering what will be his purpose in life, and how is he gonna make money and fulfill all his dreams and goals. Basically, meets this wonderful cast of characters that help and hinder him along the way. And um, welcome it in, and, into the neighborhood, including right. Gary Coleman, right? Who was the uh, the super in, in right. the apartment Gary complex. Gary Coleman. So <laughs> just and like you said, just like Sesame Street, have our um, you know, we have our human characters, uh -huh. our real life visitors on the street, and then we have the the puppets who come in all, I mean, you can see even from the two that Adam brought with him today, the different shapes and shapes and sizes, and some are operated by one person, by two. How, how many how many puppet characters are there? And then, and and beyond that, do do multiple characters, or do characters have multiple puppets when they're wearing different clothes? How does that work? Uh, yeah, I believe we have nine different characters, and for most of the main characters, we have to build two of each one so that one can have a costume change while the other one's on stage. And for wow. things like that. So. so you've got your work cut out for yes, you I do. on this show. And these are all, again, built from scratch. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's a fantastic design. If you haven't seen this show, it's hilarious. Won several Very awards funny. in New York. It's, it's, back, it's back playing off Broadway, I believe. Yeah, Avenue Q actually came out um, on Broadway the same year as Wicked, which a lot of people are familiar with, and beat it out for the, for the Tony. For best, so that was, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. And that was very surprising to sell a couple of strong shows at the same time. It's very... Very funny, very clever. If anyone's familiar with um, Book of Mormon, which is on Broadway now, it's a lot of the same creative team. Right. So, so how uh, when the the clock is ticking, when does the show open? When do you have to work we on We have all this? until the end of January. We start rehearsing in a month and a couple days. So wow. yeah, we've got a month and change until the fun starts. So I've been lifting my weights, trying to get ready. And, get ready to right. Just There's to, things just that to you don't even right. Things that you don't even think I'm of. Getting is, a little bit anyway. <laughs> We're not going to have a lovely desk like desk that to rest, <laughs> to rest on. Sure. on. It's going to be, yeah, it's going to be a whole new upper body workout that you usually don't have to worry about with a January with a 25th show. through March 4th. Mm -hmm. And as we were talking in the last segment, once you're done rehearsing, no rest for the wicked. No. You're going to have plenty of opportunities to see this with six shows a week for six weeks. Absolutely. No At, excuses. No, no, <laughs> uh, no excuses. Um, what, uh, what are you most looking forward to? in this experience oh my gosh every, I think that every every piece of theater is a wonderful new challenge and it has all this excitement I think that the puppet aspect is going to be fascinating sure. just to incorporate that whole component and I think it's going to be something that's very new to a lot of our audience members sure. as well as cast so that will be really and exciting it's, it, it, it is a little bit edgy so it's not recommended for kids under 13 absolutely not but uh, <laughs> teenagers I guess if you if uh, if your parents bring the teenagers, the teenagers will probably think you're really cool. Probably. I bet they will. So that's uh, definitely, you're going to want to see this. Avenue Q at Musical Fair uh, running uh, January 25th. And right now you can catch a class act at Musical Fair. Thank you both for coming on the program. Thanks for having me. time. <laughs> my, yeah. my pleasure. Uh, did you have a good time tonight? I guess I did. But it's a little uncomfortable sitting next to you. <laughs> well, again, I'm not in the show, but you're really going to enjoy it, and you're going to enjoy all of these wonderful people. This has been Front Row Center, a, uh, a special program of our Western New, York, Western New York Tonight program here on LCTV. I'm your host, David Bondro. Tune in next month when we'll be talking about all things theater. Good night, everybody. <laughs>